right, so I was doing a live stream the other day and somebody made a comment that I should make a video about what I keep in my backpack and I thought that, that was a great idea because I've been thinking and I want to start making more videos on this channel. I don't want to go directly to the daily vlog format because I think that's just going to be too much work and I won't be able to keep the videos consistent and high quality. But I do want to start uploading more videos that aren't just video essays. So there will still be a weekly video essay every week on Friday at 2 p.m. I mean, plus or minus a day here or there. But I also want to start uploading videos, not necessarily at random, but throughout the week. So make sure you watch out for those. And this is the first of those videos. So before I get started talking about what I have in my bag, I just wanted to make a little plug. I started a Patreon, so if you want to support me and if you want to get a chance to talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, see things early, get discounts on my products when they release, stuff like that, make sure you check out the link. It's the first line of the description. I really appreciate all of your support, but let's get into the video. All right, so this is my backpack. And and uh, just talking about some of the bigger things that I carry around with me. A water bottle, obviously, gotta stay hydrated. I drink a lot of these in a day. And then uh, one thing that I carry around sometimes, but not always, is my laptop. Um, I don't always have this with me because it's kind of heavy to carry around to every class and I don't actually use it in a lot of my classes. I'll only use it occasionally in my writing class and always in my computer science classes. So if I have a day like I do two or three days a week where I don't have a computer science class where I'm programming, I won't bring my laptop with me then. It'll be back here on my desk. So in the, in the outer pocket of my backpack, this guy here, um, I just keep a few little things. I keep a, a lip balm keep hand sanitizer and I keep uh, hand lotion just because you never know when you're going to need these things. Uh, they're pretty useful to have around with you all the time. So now into the good stuff. What do I actually have in the main pocket of my backpack? What are the things that I'm actually carrying around for school? Uh, well, one of the things, of course, is I always carry around my binders. This is where I keep all my notes. Um, only the binders for the classes that I'm actually having that day, of course. Um, but yeah, I use just, I think they're like one inch, one and a half inch binders, just standard staples stuff. It's good. And then I think it, it goes without saying as well that obviously I carry around my textbooks if I need them. And then I like to, I like to take my notes on uh, pads of paper. I've gone through various brands. Right now I'm using Rhodia paper because I like the feel of it. Um, yeah, I mean it's just like standard lined paper. I just write my notes on this and then tear it out and hole punch it and put it in a binder when I'm done. That's, I mean it's pretty straightforward. Alright, so my pencil case. Um, I've had this pencil case for a few years now and I kind of love it. It's like a little tiny, but it's hard shell, um, which is amazing. I really like it. Um, and then inside it zips up and ooh. So you've got um, two compartments in it, if you can see there. Um, and I keep, I try and keep kind of like a variety of things that I might need. So I'll have like an eraser. I use mechanical pencils for the most part, like the Uniball Kurutogo, which is an awesome pencil. Um, and then pens, highlighter. Uh, mechanical pencil lead, uh, an eraser, just stuff like that. It's it's fairly efficient and I just kind of pack it around and then just have it in a little form factor. I kind of love it. So another thing that I have always, always in my backpack is a book that I'm reading. So currently I'm reading Anti-Fragile. It's a really cool book, um, but because I'm, I'm reading a book a week this year or more, um, I've been just keeping a book in my bag all the time and then whenever I get downtime, I try and read and it's pretty effective. It's just a good way to get some new ideas throughout the day and just, I don't know, I think reading is really good for you. Um, so yeah, I always, always, always have a book on me and I recommend you to do the same. And then finally, I keep, well, I keep a few different types of notebooks on me. So the one is my growth book, the one that I will be selling on Amazon coming soon. So if you want to hear about that, sign up for my newsletter. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I keep it on me. I use it to, to plan out my days, as you can see. Um, and I love it. I mean, it's what kind of keeps me, uh, keeps me productive, keeps me centered, keeps me moving forward and improving, hence it being called a growth book. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like at the center of my daily planning and time organization. So yeah, I mean, go get yourself a growth book when they come out on Amazon in like a month or so. <laughs> So the final, the final notebooks that I carry around with me and the final things that I carry around with me are these 
field notes, and they were designed and made in the USA. There's a really cool story behind them, uh, and they make really interesting ones with cool covers and stuff, but I just use the basic ones right now with graph paper on them. Um, the reason that I love them is just because, like, throughout the day I tend to come up with a lot of ideas in passing, and I find that just writing them down really can help, and you can really flesh out good ideas, and you can make good ideas great ideas. So all of my video ideas I put into this little field note, so if you flip through it, you can see I've got scripts and storyboards and stuff like that. And then uh, all of my other ideas I put in this field note. And I just carry these around with me all the time. Sometimes they're in my pocket if I'm not carrying around a bag, but I try and always have a little thing that I can jot down notes on because I found that to be like a really effective thing in terms of just generating content and just remembering and making good ideas great ideas. So. Yeah, definitely recommend Field Notes. And that is it. That is all the things that I have in my backpack on a regular basis. Occasionally I'll throw other things in there. If it's like a rainy day or whatever, I need to carry something around. But those are my daily drivers. So I'm going to try and compile a list of those things and uh, put it on my website so that you can check out links to all of those products if they exist as products. And yeah, I hope that you learned something from this video. Maybe you saw something that you liked. I don't know. Um, but the key takeaways that I would recommend for everybody to toss in their backpacks is definitely a notebook for taking down any ideas that you come up with throughout the day for anything. Just write them down and if they're good ideas, you'll come back to them later. And uh, the other thing is just carry around a book. Just do a little bit of reading throughout the day. If you can't commit to reading a book a week, then maybe don't do that, but just always have a book on you. And I feel like you'll be exposed to just a, a plethora of new ideas and information. It'll just make your life better. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new here or if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It does mean a lot to me and your support really does help. And uh, make sure that you stay tuned because coming this Friday will be a new video essay and every week for the foreseeable future. And let me know what you think as well about this format of video, just having a few shorter videos throughout the week that, um, you know, they're just little ideas. They're not high production value or anything, but I think that some people might be able to get some benefit out of them. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.